I'm, I'm glad that none of you here have been scandalized by the bad publicity I have, I in the chapel, have gotten this past week in the press and the media. Well, maybe that's why our attendance is so low today, not because of the weather. Yes, even on television. The, uh, because of an exorcism I performed uh, about three weeks ago, which got into the news why the powers that be in the uh, Vatican II Church have denounced me uh, once again, as to be expected, as a a renegade priest and one a network even went so far as to call me a defrocked priest and another said I was starting a new church <laughs> so anyway brethren just that's to be expected and that being at odds as we are here in the chapel with the Vatican True Reformation and the enemies that are in control of the church that's all to be expected the chancery and the media are bosom friends in the current situations and have been since Vatican True anyway with that as a preface I'd like to have by way of a postscript to last Sunday's sermon on the subject of exorcism a a list rather haphazard I'm sorry to say I haven't had time to put it in too much order but a a random list of the devil's traps for you in the way of things or practices that are connected with the occult if not directly indirectly our Lord himself as you know said that the devil is a prince of this world the prince of this world that is the world of uh, the majority of men who are of the world and not of God of Christ those who live in sin are the devil's kingdom. Anyway, never was he more, I dare say, the prince of the world than in these apocalyptic times. Spring last week, I called your attention last week uh, to the fact that the witchcraft, which is certainly the tool of the devil is a veritable plague throughout the world spiritual age if you will and so I want to give you I say a random list not necessarily complete of the devil's traps in this regard take heed beware of certain games video games or board type games the Ouija board of course is a, uh, is a classic way and I dare say still the most common way of people getting obsessed or possessed by the devil video or board, or board type games uh, that particularly depict, depict devils and demons or spells beware of them beware of role-playing games like the Dungeons and Dragons I, I mentioned last week where people take on the, the or act the act a part of a uh, of a, an evil spirit or a, a demon or some other evil person uh, that can be to demonic infestation beware of certain toys many toys now those that are have de demonic looking actions
action figures, or so-called transformers, or masters of the universe. Beware of them. Watch out for cartoons depicting uh, so-called powers or forces like Smurfs, Care Bearers, whatnot. These all smack of the devil. Movies that show occult practices, tarot cards, mind reading, fortune telling, levitation, again, powers and forces and ghosts and spells. These things are very obviously connected, connected with the demonic. Beware of certain science fiction movies with uh, overtones of the occult, the superstitious, of witchcraft. For example, the, the Star Wars trilogy and the E.T., extraterrestrial. Uh, Beware of books or even novels that have to deal with witchcraft. You can even read such books out of curiosity. Books that are, or books that are, uh, deal with, with horror and things grotesque and gruesome and perverse, especially by Stephen King and the Goosebumps books for children by, by R.L. Stein. Anything that smacks of new age, beware of. Symbols, jewelry, uh, the peace symbol, that upside down cross with the broken arms that's been come back in the vogue uh, as it was 20 years ago. Amulets, like the Italian horn. Apple's food, and other knickknacks that are of a pagan or Indian uh, motif, for the uh, use from uh, mantelpieces and and uh, or decorations. Beware of so-called transcendental meditation that comes from the Far East. That's uh, it's, it's Hindu or, or uh, Buddhism or anything that has to do with so-called mind control and, 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 and concentration, a special concentration. These things can lead to uh, the demonic, playing with fire. You were of uh, what they call biorhythm and biofeedback. Over-preoccupation with health, certain health remedies. You have the result of, of of pagan religion. I have to say that I kind of get the creeps when I go into these health food stores, some of the, you know, the things they have in them. I feel comfortable in myself. Beware of, you have to be aware of the martial arts, which are connected with, with the Far East, pagan cultures, which can get you involved in uh, Oh, that that mind concentration meditation can lead you, I say, into the hands of the devil himself. Beware of of uh, of, of dolls, certain dolls, the cabbage patch doll, which I understand is still in vogue, or the so so called witch dolls that people put in their kitchens. That's funny, huh? <laughs> For inviting it, giving an open door to the devil. Don't have any any, any statues or or, or or pictures or, or posters or paintings of of things demonic or of pagan deities such as Buddhas and uh, and, and Venus statues or pictures. God help us. Or, or things monstrous, monsters. Or pictures or paintings of immoral actors or so-called stars. Beware of even uh, Native American articles. That's pagan. That's pagan. Be demonic. 
Don't have rock records in the house. Of course, don't don't listen to rock music, especially the the so-called hard or acid rock. We mentioned last week, for instance, uh, I mean I think many of the suicides, the teenage suicides, uh, are uh, are the result of uh, such records. And the and the horoscopes have nothing to do with those. That's that's certainly a superstition and the work of the devil. It should be called horror scopes, not horoscope. Horror scopes. Have a horror of them. Beware of of uh, uh, and hypnotism. Hypnotism is, can lead to the demonic obsession or possession too. Have nothing to do with any sort of Pentecostalism. As many Catholics and the uh, Novatorial Catholics are in, involved in. That is worshiping. Professing to worship God, but not in ways sanctioned traditionally by the Catholic Church, and therefore a form of superstition. People who are slain in the spirit are uh, are apt to become possessed by devils. Speaking in so-called tongues, which can be uh, demonic gib- uh, uh, gibberish. In general, brethren, beware of anything that smacks of the demonic, the grotesque, and the pagan. Like as I say, is anything from the Far East or anything of it from Indian culture. And if you and when you're in, you have any doubt about anything, then ask me. Ask me whether it's dangerous or not. Our God, as the scripture says, is a jealous God. Jealous God. He will not share his prerogatives with anybody else, much least of all the demons of hell. And if you flirt with those demons by tampering with uh, with with, with uh, superstitions or the cult or witchcraft, then what what better punishment do you deserve than to be handed over? To the power of the devil. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.